Running for your life can take on an all too serious meaning when your safety is at risk. Megan Malwicky tells us how some local women have joined forces to protect themselves when they're hoofing it at night. We run together. We run despite the dark. Running after dark can be a challenge for female runners and bring out many emotions. It's just like a sense of uncomfort. There's like a pit in your stomach. You know, we hear stories, everything from being catcalled to being harassed to worse, um, you know, raped, killed. So five co-workers started a group called Despite the Dark to bring a safe running experience to women. Many are endurance athletes with busy lives and can only run before or after work when it's dark. They meet in different locations once a month to run and also have self-defense classes. You can't really guarantee safety in any way, so um, the best way to reduce anything from happening is to just be in a big, big group. So we found this stat that was about 60% of women report being hesitant about running after dark as opposed to only 14% of men. Change can only happen when everyone in the community is willing to do something about it. So yes, what, men are always, always welcome to our runs. And despite the dark has been received well in a short time and not just in big cities. They already have programs in San Francisco as well as at the University of Florida. We have seen so many people across the country reaching out and every single person is the same reason. Not even a year since you've started this. Where, what is the ultimate goal? I mean, the goal is to only go up from here. I, as far as we can take it, um, I, as many cities as we can have our Despite the Dark runs. On the north side, Megan Mawicki, CBS 2 News. Strength in numbers for sure. Now, all levels of runners are welcome to join the group. For more information on Despite the Dark, go to our website, cbschicago.com.